In this video, we're going to view the best tutorials of the past year and look ahead into the future. There were 200 videos covering all sorts of topics from simple mechanics, UI elements, ECS tutorials and many more still to come. Let's begin! Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and this channel is all about helping you learn how to make your own games with in-depth tutorials made by a professional indie game developer. So if you find the video helpful, consider subscribing. So here we are in May 2019. The channel officially had its first video in May 13th, 2018, and that really feels like a very long time ago. Since then, there have been 200 videos covering all sorts of topics to help you make your own games. All of them in the form of step-by-step -step tutorials so you can follow along, as well as project files and utilities that you can download for free. Essentially, what I'm making in this channel is what I wish I had available when I got started. I feel watching a step-by-step -step tutorial and downloading the final project files to read through the code is one of the best ways that you can learn. The first video was covering a health system. Looking back at it, I was certainly a lot more inexperienced at making videos. Over time, I feel I've significantly improved my presentation skills and got better at simplifying the setup. I believe the videos are now much easier to follow and learn from. Back when I started the channel, it was something I was very excited about but wasn't sure if it would work. When making my own games, it's always tough to stay working on the same project for months and months. Usually my games take around one year to make, which is a very long time to stay working on just one thing. I truly love programming and I love experimenting, so this channel was kind of an attempt to be able to work on smaller projects and making cool mechanics whilst being able to teach people what I know. Thankfully the response has been great so far, with plenty of comments mentioning how a video helped them get started or finally understand a complex topic like for example Unity ECS. So many thanks to you for watching the videos, and I hope you've learned a lot from them. In total there have been 200 videos so far covering a wide range of topics. Lots of great UI elements, covering minimap, quest pointer, portrait window and several bars. These are always fun to make and relatively easy to add to a different project. Pretty much every game will have UI elements, so knowing how to build anything is hugely helpful. ECS and the whole dot stack is a very recent topic that I'm covering and I'm loving it so far. The tech is still in preview, but I really like this future approach for Unity. It provides excellent performance and a really interesting way of thinking about problems. At the same time, it's not the only way, it's just another tool in your game dev toolkit. So a really good skill to develop is knowing when to use game objects and when to use ECS. So definitely look forward to more ECS tutorials. A game is just a group of several systems working together to create a specific experience. Game development involves making cool mechanics, but also making sure it's enjoyable to work with those mechanics. So that means you need to handle saving and loading, scene management, how to play sounds, and so on. A lot of what goes on behind the game are things you might never think about as a player, but you quickly realize how essential they are as soon as you start making your own games. Game elements are what makes and defines your player experience. So how does the player move in your game, how does he attack, what happens when enemies get hit, when do enemies get spawned, and so on. This defines what type of game you're really making and just how good it feels to play. The experience should be compelling, easy to control, and very satisfying. It's better to have fewer excellent helmets than too many that don't really work together. Characters are always fun to make. It's always an interesting challenge to take a character and remake it, specifically in my case to work in 2D. For example, in the Captain America video, it caused me to think how to translate the shield into a game mechanic. So how far it should go, how much damage, how does it get back, and so on. Then once the design is settled, thinking about how to set that up in Unity. How is the code organized, what classes are needed, and so on. So these videos to me are a great way of doing a sort of mini game jam, where you start with a character and try to make it work in a game. Give it a try for yourself, think up a character you like, and design the mechanics to make it work as a game. Another great topic is recreating popular game elements. Pretty much everyone who wants to make games also plays games, so being able to look at professional games you play and figuring out how they work is a great way to learn. Every time I play a game, there's always a part of my brain that is analyzing the game design and how all the systems work together. If you want to get better as a game developer, start being very active when playing games. Think about why they built a certain system, what purpose does it serve, what are the individual elements that make it up. How could you recreate it in Unity? For example, do you need to make a shader or create a class to handle some specific AI? 
These questions are a great way to grow as a game developer and learning how to build pretty much anything. The game I'm currently working on is Battleground Tycoon, which is currently on Early Access, so there have been several videos covering systems from it. One of the reasons I started this channel was because I wanted to make tutorials that have an actual real practical application instead of just generic theory. So I think having videos where I go through the code that is being used in a real game is extremely valuable. I've covered several systems already, so you can pick up the game and play for yourself to see the final systems, then watch the videos to see how they actually work. So that's 200 videos covering all kinds of topics. My goal is to get to a point that when someone asks me a question like how do you make a high score table or how do you make a minimap, I can simply point them to a detailed tutorial video. The future is also looking very exciting. Just recently I started working with ECS and so far I'm loving how it works. I really like how it forces you to think about how you're going to set up your code and obviously the massive benefits it provides. Since the games that I most like to do are based on having many units, ECS truly is an amazing technology. So look forward to very awesome videos in the coming future. We're also very close to 50,000 subscribers, so many thanks to all of you and I'm really glad you're enjoying the videos. Now my question to you is what do you want to see more of in the coming year? What topics do you want to see covered? Maybe some Q&A or maybe more general advice videos? Let me know in the comments. And again, as a reminder, if you like the videos, you can support the channel and get some cool games for yourself by picking up the game bundle from the website. The channel isn't really sustainable yet, but with your help it will be soon. So again, many thanks for watching the videos and I hope you've learned a lot from them. Alright, see you next time!